Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. Today, actually, I need your help. So as soon as you finish this video, I want your opinions because this, you know, we're coming up to the new season and, you know, I want to change things up. I want to add new features and get closer to my community. We're getting up, you know, we're above 3.5k now thanks to your subscription and help and support. But I want to take things up to the next level. So I want to create either a discord server chat whatever it's called or a telegram um or i could do both you know more do one for the members only and one for um uh, everyone else as eduardo channel member suggested but i would like to know which ones do you guys prefer should i do a discord or should i do a telegram uh which yeah which one do you prefer because i'm not i'm not really use either of those but i know that most other youtubers have uh telegram communities for their for their channel so yeah you guys let me know in the comments down below second uh thing i want to cover today serie a fantasy spanta calcio join me join my league and i'll show you the website i use by the way this is not an advert i'm not sponsored for this video this is genuinely the serie a fantasy uh website slash app that i've been using for the last couple of years it's not the the best because you know Premier League this is you know obviously we know the Premier League why it's so clear of the other leagues has got the official fantasy Premier League um but Serie A doesn't actually have its own for, I think they they were they're in the works of creating it uh but the league uh, or the website that I've been using is called Kickist uh so you find the link in the description down below Serie A.kickist.it it is an Italian website but if you go scroll down to the bottom in the app as well, you can change it to English or Italian. I use it in Italian, but for today, I'll show you guys in English and why I like it. I know there's the other website, seriafancy.com, which is, you know, becoming popular and into worldwide, uh, pushing it. A few other YouTubers are pushing it and it is good. It's decent. Uh, and I did try it out last year and I am part of the, make sure you guys join the fantasy, the into worldwide league the private league but the reason why i like uh the kickest seria r is because it's just a little bit more uh advanced and a little bit more fun in my opinion so let me give you an example here so you get 180 credits to make your team so you have to make obviously the start in 11 but you also have the substitutes like other fancy premier leagues but uh, fancy teams but you also need to have a coach so it gives you that extra layer uh so let me give you an example randomize the team here you see um it's created a team and the and then it's got the uh cremonese coach in there and the coaches get points depending on if the team draw wins uh or loses of course they get minus points but let's say like you know this cremonese coach he only costs five credits but if cremonese here they're playing fiorentina in the first game they will have like a multiplier so it'll be like 1.2 or 1.3 so even if so a win for the Cremonese coach will be worth a lot more than it would be if you bought, uh, you know, Inzaghi and we win against Lecce because the, uh, the multiplier actually would be like 0 0.8 or 0 0.7. So the win will be like more, probably more guaranteed, but you get less points for it. So it's quite good like that. And each player, uh, the way the points are given is also much more interesting as well. So um, it's not just goals and assists like other fantasy uh, games, which is why I don't really like fantasy Premier League because it's all about goals and assists and clean sheet. Like it's so simplistic, and I think it is a lot of the reason why football discourse or football discussion nowadays is all about G plus A goals and assists, goals and assists. I think this kind of fantasy Premier League thought is kind of uh, changing. It always kind of prevailing in people's minds. But so you get good points for a goal and assist, obviously. Uh, you get minus points for a yellow card and obviously more minus points for a red card, big minus points for an own goal. Um, but the thing I like is that you get um, points for penalty gained, uh, penalty conceded because you get minuses, but I like that you get uh, points for other things like that imp important info, but like accurate passes. Uh, you get like 0 0.1 or like it, it, there's a little threshold where, you know, if you complete more than like 50, 60 passes a game, like so the registers are, are rewarded or like players that pass really well are rewarded. Defenders are rewarded not just for clean sheets, they have a good number of recovered balls. So like, for example, like Bremer last year was doing really well on recovered balls and things like that. So he was getting a lot of uh, extra points. Uh, shots on target as well, it doesn't necessarily that the, the striker needs to score. 
um off shot off target shots as well they get like points goals conceded for the goalkeepers yeah go goalkeepers get points for their passing as well so it's like it's a lot more immersive and it's a lot more uh, advanced in terms of stats that are counted which is why i like and of course you can change your formation and stuff here depending on what you want and another thing i like about it is because you pretty much have to you change your team pretty much every week um so it's not just you make the team and that's it uh, and you know like everything the changes cost a lot so the changes uh, for this um cost so you get minus two every time you want to make change um if you want to take you know okareke out and you want to put in uh, another striker um it only costs you minus two but because you get a lot more points in this game, it doesn't actually matter as much. It's not like fancy Premier League where you know you get minus four points and you like you're struggling already. Here is like you can pretty much almost change your whole team, take the minus twenty um, for each match day, and if you're still able to get you know above two hundred, it kind of makes sense. So it keeps you like kind of really uh, you have to stay on top of it but also you know you have to it gives you a lot more knowledge about players around the league as well because you have to stay on top of what's happening in the league and who's playing who's injured and things like that um and you can also make substitution within a match day so for example uh this turn three so if you have players from verona napoli or juventus or sassuolo you can keep them on the bench um and have your players from all the other teams playing and then if you see that these guys didn't perform you can take you know by Ramia who didn't play and then you maybe have i don't know uh locatelli from uh juventus and you can sub him in so it really is kind of ongoing live very um interactive that's why i prefer it to the other ones you know over the years i found that the best way to keep uh people you know engaged with this fancy league is you know prizes so there's definitely going to be a prize so the winner of my league will receive a prize it's not been decided it'll be something nice guys i'm sure, like it will either be a t-shirt one of the ones i design or if you're not an inter fan maybe we'll do something else uh but there will be a prize and of course i want to shame people that are last so even if i'm last as well like whoever will be last will be shamed publicly shamed on the on the channel i'm not promising to make regular videos on this because again i'm not sponsored by this we'll probably that's that's what the group the telegram or the discord will be for so we can regularly talk about this but also inter or serie a or champions league i'm also looking to do a champions league team as well so look out for that when the closer to the time the champions league starts we'll have a serie a fantasy league and a champions league fantasy team and yeah just want to you know engage with the community a lot more have fun with you guys i think it will be fun as i said you know there will be a prize but they also will be shaming so you have to keep on top of it i know there's the other serie a fantasy website as i said so it's up to you i don't I'm not forcing you to do this, but I think it'll be fun. The app has is not the most smooth app. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes there's some bugs, uh, and it has some annoying adverts as well because it isn't a big app. But trust me, is it's good. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the league. As I said, check the description or the comments down below for the code for the website. Make sure you join up and again give me your thoughts on what should I should make. Should it be a Discord or a Telegram group? Um, and yeah make sure you leave a thumbs up i know this is not the usual video but you know this is a community video so i hope you guys like it and engage i'll see you on the next one lots of content coming up serie a preview player to watch from each serie a team so make sure you keep a lookout on the channel inter versus lecture preview of course ciao ragazzi always forza inter see you on the next one